Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you three effective ways to create pie charts for your Google Form responses so that you can easily visualize your data, spot trends at a glance and make better decisions. So without any ado, let's get started. Method one, use Google Form response summary. So I have a multiple choice uh, quiz over here with two different multiple choice questions. Let's go ahead and publish this. Let's set a responder view to be anyone with a link. And click down and publish. Let's copy the URL and carry out a test submission. Let's submit another response as well. Now to see the pie chart, simply head over to responses and here you'll be able to see the pie charts. Google Forms will automatically generate pie charts for multiple choice checkboxes and any kind of drop down questions. This is the easiest method to see the results as a pie chart and this will work for numeric and also textual answers. However, this method does not offer any customization which might be important to you. Method 2. Use Google Sheets to create pie charts. So I have collected two responses for this MCQ test. Now what I can do is link this test to a Google Sheet. So we can create a new sheet. And here I can select a particular column and all the different answers that uh, the respondent provided and click on insert then head over to chart and here we can select the chart type to be a pie chart and here we can select the label to be the question now this will populate the chart with the answers and the overall percentage of respondents who have answered them and you can head over to the customization tab and customize the chart style and we can also make this a donor chart and also change the color Everything. With this method, you can create highly customized pie charts, but uh, this can only work with numeric data. So if you want to create pie charts for textual answers, this method will not work. Now let's move on to method three. Method three, use Google Looker Studio to create customized pie charts. So create an account in Looker Studio, then click on create, then report. Then it will ask you to connect a data source. Uh, in this case, we have linked our Google Form responses to a Google Sheet. So we can select Google Sheets as our uh, data source and we can select a particular Google Sheet. Then let's click Add. So we have added that particular Google Sheet as the data source. Now let's go ahead and add a pie chart into this. Uh, to do that, simply click on Insert and then click on Pie Chart. And then position it wherever you'd like. And in the dimension, Make sure uh, it is set to be the question. This will populate the chart with the answers and the percentage of respondents who selected that particular answer. And you can uh, play around with all the different metrics, filters and date range dimensions. And you can also customize the style to be your liking. With this method, you can create interactive reports and also dashboards where all your information can be presented in a clear and organized way. This is perfect for professional work especially when you need to share real-time data insights with teams, clients, or stakeholders. However, there is a slight learning curve you have to keep in mind. So that's it for this short tutorial. I hope you found this to be valuable. If you want a better Google Form alternative for your form, surveys, or quizzes, make sure to check out Formastro. If you have any feedback or questions, kindly drop them in the comment section. As always, I will see you in the next one.